Chelsea. Hi. Hello, my dear. How are you? I'm well. I'm well. Yeah. Really, yeah. Really good. Your hair looks lovely. I like your dress. Everything's Thank going you. You well. Thank you. You look okay. Okay. That's good. I'll take that. The last time I saw you was at The View. We were both on The View. At yeah, the we did time. The View together, and thank God you were there because Cindy McCain, you know, um, John McCain's wife was on the show, and yeah. she had the personality of, like, a food scale. No, no. And, I mean, I've never seen somebody suck energy out of a room like I saw this woman suck energy, and we're behind, and she's talking about somebody having a stroke, and then you were like, oh, God, I don't have any stroke material because... <laughs> Because nobody does, and but you went on and you were very energetic and you made my job much easier to go on and you know sell my book well, or whatever I, I was I, selling. I, yes, your book, of course, it's yeah. number one on the New York Times. My yeah, God, yeah, I know. It's great. I know. Now, it's uh. You're the new Salman Rushdie. I'm very similar to Salman Rushdie. I like Salman, actually, the food. But I do... I, Barbara Walters, actually, in a very ironic twist, knocked me off the number one spot. Because really? she stole... Yeah, because her book, obviously, was huge. So I, now I think I'm on the number two slot on the New York Times. She stole my signature move. So she's number one and yeah. you're number two. Yeah, she slept All with right. a black guy. I don't know if you know hey, that. Hey, no! <laughs> Come on! And I've done that, too. Hey, who hasn't? <laughs> I did it twice, three times, three times. And I wrote about it in my first book, and then she obviously... Wait, 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 wait. Three times, like, three different guys, or no, the same three, guy three times? No, three different guys, just one big party. Okay. <laughs> What's the, uh... It's disgusting. Yeah. What's the uh, what's the the tale in the book then? Are you uh, are you uh, vodka is your friend? And... I know you're not. You, I, I'm a big drinker. I like I like vodka. I like Grey Goose. <laughs> A lot of the people here are alcoholics. No. You can tell by that thunderous applause. You yeah. can tell when somebody Woo! else... Has yeah! It. Validate us! I know yeah. you don't drink, though, right? I don't, I, <laughs> no, I don't drink anymore. I used to drink. Right. So. Yeah, I, I get no time for people that never, ever drank. No, you don't no, trust no, no, them. No, you can't no, trust people like that. No, it's that. like guys with beards. What are they hiding? <laughs> yeah. It's like... <laughs> I, oh, wait. That's something I'm going to talk about on tomorrow night's show. <laughs> I have no idea where I am. You know, I can't get drunk. I'm, I'm like a drunk the whole time. You are. You actually do come off as very drunk. I, I am, kind of. I have to say that I, I do drink. I don't really get drunk anymore because I consider myself an advanced drinker. I don't uh -huh. really, it doesn't really affect me the way it used to. So I don't really ever get drunk like I did when I was a girl. Like, I don't ever want to be one of those girls, you know, where you talk to these girls after New Year's or some big holiday, and they're like, oh, I'm just going to, I'm just going to not drink for a while. I'm just taking some time off. <laughs> And you're like, I yeah. know what you did. Yeah. Somebody got double teed. Hey, no. <laughs> if I knew what that meant, I'd be outraged. <laughs> Shut up. Uh. <laughs> Anyway, I think it's great that you're so sober. How many years do you have? How many? 16. 16 years? 16. Wow, yeah, wow. Yeah, so you're yeah. pretty... can't handle drinking or people that, I mean, there are people that shouldn't be drinking. No, I, I couldn't handle it. I was no damn good at it. When people no. were all, you know, drinking and stuff, I'd go out for a beer with some friends. I'd wake up four days later in Tijuana with a sore ass <laughs> tattoo. <laughs> Sound familiar? I'm just saying. Wake up. <laughs> I'm not going to go there. No, listen, but, tell, uh, tell me, is this all true? Do you, do you make up lies in this book and then say it's true? Why are you calling me a liar? I, I, I didn't didn't say it. I asked. I, I no. asked. No, these books, first of all, this is Chewy. It's my little fat nugget who's on the cover of the book. Yeah. Speaking of Tijuana. Speaking of Tijuana. Now, is, it, is, it, is this your, are you romantically linked to this gentleman? No, I'm not a sicko, okay? He's, no. He's a little there, person. He's only four foot three. I see. And, uh, well, everybody, you know, need, has needs. Tom Cruise is small. He is a girlfriend. <laughs> I went too far, didn't I go too far? No, I don't think no, so. Not for you, but no. that's not a good barometer for me. You're absolutely right. Tom Cruise is small. Yes, there's no yes, reason it. that we should pretend he's not. Now, how... <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's refreshing that you speak the truth. <laughs> Do you get into trouble when you go out to... Because you're quite tough on a lot of people. Do you get into trouble when you go around Hollywood? Do people give you a hard time? <laughs> think anybody takes me very seriously. I mean, yeah, I say silly things, but it's nothing I wouldn't say to somebody if they were standing right here. I mean, I can't imagine anybody would be sitting at home and being like, God, Chelsea, when is she going to... I mean, it's not a news program. Right, no, that's true. You that's know, true. I mean, I'm on e, the E! Network. It's I, not like anybody's like, oh my God, I have to find out what happened in the news today. Where's E? <laughs> I kind of do do that. 
I do, because I look at the news and I go, oh God, it's so depressing. Let me find out about somebody's haircut. Who's in rehab, I think? And I go, hey. Well, that, you know, that, that's the fun thing about the show. It is so much fun because when we're paying so much attention to these girls and paying so much attention to celebrity, you kind of have to sit back and make fun of yourselves for caring that much. Yes. So it is a really good channel if you had a lobotomy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you're charming and I think you're doing very well and I'm delighted you. for your success both with the book and the show. Thank, Thank you, you very for joining much, us. Craig. Thank Lovely. you. Chelsea Handler, everybody. We'll be right back. Looks like a plot point to me. <laughs> Please welcome the adorable Chelsea Handler, everybody. Chelsea Handler. I love you. You look funky and dangerous and sexy and fun and Thank sassy. You. And Thank you. Thank no, you. I, I wish I could say... Now, don't be mean. <laughs> There's no need to be mean. I love what you're doing. I love you. I love coming on this show. It's such a mess. <laughs> I've seen your show. You're very kind of uh, irreverent and informal in your show. You've got a little person and you, uh, you cuss and stuff. Well, well, yeah, we're pretty informal on my show, too. I mean, but there's some sort of organization. I mean, this is a, a disaster. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I haven't been here since you got that. Je Hi, Jeff. Hey, what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> Well, for a, for a while we had a little person, but you kind of cornered the market in the little person, I so I had to go for, you know, gay robot skeleton. What is that? What is that? That looks like a pile Crikey. of on your desk. What is that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, in a way, it is, it's a large snake cup because I'm insecure about my penis. Have you ever come across that in a man before? Have I ever come across your penis? Well, have you, Chelsea? No, no. Have you? No, but you're one of the comedians that I would have had sex with. I know you're a married man now, so I would never do that now. Of course, neither would you, I hope. And I, but I, I thought you were very sexy the first time I came on. I did, and then I found out you were sober, and I was like, oh, forget it. Oh, come on. I did. Oh, I I swear. I no, swear. why? Because. That's no fun for me. Do you me. know I when drink. you? I remember when you did. I uh, kicked uh, the. I, I believe in oh, the eighties. Oh, look 80s at it now! What a mess! You <laughs> shouldn't have said anything. You should have seen me when I was drunk. Do you remember that? Do you remember that show? <laughs> I believe in the eighties, or the eighties were great, or whatever. You did that show. What remember? is this ring? That's so gay. What is? <laughs> Why are you wearing a ring on your middle finger? Why you have another one? Is that an Irish one or Scottish? What are you? Is it Scottish? Yeah. <laughs> Scottish. Okay, now that I'm looking at your hands, I'm not as attracted as I was before. <laughs> They're just, I don't like jewelry on men, but it's okay, you're married, go on with your story. No. No, I don't want. How, how, how is married life, by the way? It's all right, it's pretty good. What do you guys do? Like, what we do have you sex, do? anytime we like. Really? Yeah. Now, does your wife drink? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She does. Do you guys go out to dinner and stuff? Like, do you stay No, nah, she just stays home and drinks, and then when I go, <laughs> then when I get home, she beats me. <laughs> it's awesome. Does she, does she work? Yeah, she beats me. <laughs> no, she doesn't. She, well, we have kids. We have very young children. Oh, I didn't know you had children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm I a thought ten-year-old now, oh. but a little, a little scratcher, a little one-year-old. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, their names are on this gay ring that <laughs> I. Uh, A lot of jewelry, though, which is odd for a successful woman, I have to say. You have a one piece, and that's it. Well, I mean, this is on a specific day. I mean, I sometimes I have jewelry on, but you know, it depends. Today I felt funky, and I was like, I don't need jewelry because I have this dark nail polish on. You know, you, just Do you have, have your nail, your toenails polished. Yeah, of course. That's good. That's sexy. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I yeah, always yeah. have my toenails yeah. polished. Always. You... I hate. I hate gross feet on women. Your feet have to be pedicured and lubricated. <laughs> Lubricated? Lubricated. There's nothing grosser than dry, scaly feet on a woman or a man. Anybody with feet like that can go Broggy. themselves. <laughs> Your feet are probably okay. Yeah, Your hands good. look lubricated. So yeah, like yeah, that. they are. They're ready. You can <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> what do you want? Hand or foot? Let me, let me know. Let, let me, me know. Ready. No, you know when I <laughs> when I spoke at the White House Correspondents Dinner? I was I, there at that dinner. Right, I had my toenails painted that night. Why? Because I wanted to know that I was still me inside all that uh-oh suit that I was wearing. Oh, that's 
cute. That's yeah. That. You were really funny there. Don't thank you. Yeah. It's terrifying. Have you done that yet? No, I would never do it because I would be too nervous. I can't do stuff like that. I don't like any big commitments. <laughs> I don't. I get too nervous. The anxiety leading up. I'm like, why did I commit to this? Why did I commit to this? Like the Golden Globes. I, I could never do host anything like that. No, it's too nerve no, no. You don't want to do the Golden Globe. The Oscars. You could do the Golden Globes. Oscars. Come on. I That's would. Like I'd a be truck a stop restroom. The Golden Globes. <laughs> Golden Globes. Those are your people. That's the Hollywood Foreign Press. Oh, I feel the same. The Hollywood Foreign Press. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you that. You want to talk about alcoholic losers? Right there in the -la -la. Hollywood Foreign Press. That's an AA meeting waiting to happen. I caramba! I caramba! I told you, right? I'm yeah. not lying. You meet these people, you're like, are you? Uh oh. Hey, like when, when you get introduced to them, you think this is a Hollywood foreign press, and you think it's going to be impressed. And then you meet them, and you go, what the wrong is this? Messes. There was like a 95 year old guy that was there from Germany, and he's like, I want to see underneath what's underneath that skirt. And I was like, uh, I'll probably show you. <laughs> Like, I looked at him, I was like, he's never going to see a girl like me again. No, so I might no. as well just go and give him a heart attack right now. <laughs> Chelsea Handler, ladies and gentlemen. No, you know, you know what's good? I fully believe that if we'd have met at a different time, we would have had sex and then hated each other. Oh, no, we wouldn't have hated each other. I don't hate anybody I've had sex no, no, with. No, during, during the dated. sex, it would have been awesome. Oh, no. We would have had really good sex. I think so. Yeah, we would have so. had a good time together. It's, too, yeah. it's not our lifetime, though. Yeah, it's too late. Well, now. Some, some other lifetime we'll get together. But thank you for thinking of me. <laughs> hey, hey. Not the first time. <laughs> Why don't you empty your thoughts into this car? All right. Uh, we'll take a break. We'll be right back with Chelsea Handler. Chelsea Handler, who I can't quite figure out who hates me or loves me. Um, I love I, you. I love your audience. They're so loud and they're close. It's nice. It's a great audience. You know, you know the other night. You, are you friendly with Christina Applegate? Uh, I don't think I've ever met her. Okay, all right. Maybe. I don't remember. I don't think I've met her. No, well, she was She was here the other She's night funny. and someone yelled at her. And uh, Dukes, the, one of the guys at the back, threw the guy out on the air. Uh -huh. Ben Dukes, he, he went down and went, you out of there. What's the point of that story? No, no, no. I was kind of impressed, that's all. I kind of liked it. Well, mm. she anyway, we're out of time, Chelsea. Is so, she, uh, she, are we out of time? Yeah, yeah. Okay, it says a minute and 34 seconds. So. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you're doing another thing? Yeah, yeah, I see, yeah, I see. Oh, all right, okay, you got to do your thing. Got it. Right, Let's right. Go. So we're out of time, Chelsea. Okay, we'll say, so, okay, thank you. No, wait, no. God. Wouldn't this be fun if we could do this together every day? It's fun. Like, we could be like... We could be like The View. Yeah, we, we could be like The View, No, but wait, night, but then who's Whoopi? Who's Whoopi? Yeah, am I Whoopi if it's The know, View? There's got to be a black guy somewhere. There's one. There's two. You've got three black people, four black people. This is the most black people I've seen in any audience. It's affirmative action. You, you, you know... We are out of time. Okay, fine, then go. No, wait, I have to do my thing now. Do it. All right. Well, how would you like to finish? Mouth organ, awkward pause, or would you like to go for the big cash prize? I'll go for the, I have enough cash. I'll do, what do you want me to do? You want me to play something, an instrument? Is that what the mouth thing is? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, let me just take my ring off. I, uh... No, well, you, can you play the mouth organ? Because if no, you can, I can't. But I can try. If you want well, me to try, okay, I'll try it. Yeah, I mean, right. it's not going to be good. It's very simple. We take it out, just suck and blow. Uh, <laughs> are you going to do a tune, or are you going to just keep blowing into that? I know a song. He's going to ask you the same thing, actually. Okay, I can't. I was trying to play Mary Had a Little Lamb or something, but now there's nothing happening. <laughs> this, this doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like one that works? <laughs> hey, by the way, during the commercial break, Chelsea was giving me a hard time saying, you said you'd come on my show and, and you never came on my show. And then she said I was lying because I said I was going to be on her show. And I said, that's not true. So let me just say in front of everybody right here in this room. Oh, I don't I want you on the show. Oh, well, what the hell? <laughs> This takes a lot of 
energy to blow like into that thing. It's not even worth it. I mean, I'm it's serious. worth it. <laughs> it's well, you know, it's worth it. <laughs> Chelsea Handler, everybody. <laughs> joke. Uh, she's the host of Chelsea Lately, which airs uh, weeknights on E. Please welcome the adorable Chelsea Handler, everybody. Chelsea, you look great, and you smell great, too. Oh, thank you. No, you look really good. Really? I, I like this. It's got art on it. Okay, my eyes are here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll get to your eyes. I've seen your eyes before, and I'm looking forward to seeing them again. But right now, I'm appreciating what's going on right here. Thank you. You look well. <laughs> thank you. You look well. And congratulations on your new studio. Congratulations on your new studio. Thank you very much indeed. It's, it's a little smaller than yours. I couldn't even actually tell the difference from the last one. Not really, no. You can. You can, but yours is huge. It's like it's Mine got a... was a lot more expensive than yours, right. I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's what you want, though. You're an expensive girl. I look at you and I think, that's money right there. <laughs> yeah. Is it different working in it? Do you feel it like... is. It feels very exciting. I feel like I'm a big girl. Like, I feel like I went from Ooh. high school to college. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. you know about Oh, college. I know about big yeah. girls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, it's, uh, what about your little fellow? That, does he look even smaller? He does. He's, yeah. It's actually a big stage, so there's a lot of kind of like empty air. So, yeah, he really has to kind of speak up, and we got him a bigger seat. Yeah. You got, you got, did you get your massage chair, by the way? Oh, I did, yeah. Thank you so much. When it was, my, I was on a Chelsea show just before my birthday, and, and in, in your dressing room, there's this massage chair, which is like, We oh, call it the climax chair. Oh, my Lord. Like, oh. I mean, really, this thing, it really is. I mean, it, it puts its finger. <laughs> You know, I mean, <laughs> it's really great. And when, and <laughs> it does. It puts its finger. But the, uh, but what it, well, I said to Chelsea how much I loved it, and she bought me one for my birthday. Yes. It's really wait, lovely. Wait, wait. No, to be in fairness, I didn't have to even pay for it. They were happy to just give it to you. I pretended it was a gift for me, but I just called the company, and they were like, who is that? <laughs> I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing because I know how lovely you are. And you're doing Aww. that, oh, I'm so tough, I'm a tough girl, but you're not, Chelsea. No, you're I'm good. soft. Yes. You're soft. Thank you and for bringing that out of me. Yeah. I'm soft. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm, you're scary is what you are. <laughs> but there's something about, I, I wonder about this, if you come across this in your dating life, because you're scary, but it's very attractive. Do you think so? I do think so. I, I don't know if that's just me. I think other men I'm thinking do you, that like, too. How do you feel when you see me? Do you get like a An erection? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, yeah. <laughs> Well, um, not, I, not all the time, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, you are older. So uh, that's my age, yeah, that's what I say. <laughs> it's not going to happen every time. Like no, but if it happens at all, I'm like, hello! <laughs> I appreciate that, but I'm sure I'm not very attracted to a lot of men probably don't like girls like me, you know. What, you mean smart, clever, beautiful girls? Well, Who wouldn't like that? That's, that's ridiculous. Nice of you. I always tell you, if you were single and I were single, I would definitely have a one-night stand with you. <laughs> that is the most romantic thing I have ever heard in my life. It's kind of like ships that might have passed in the night briefly <laughs> for sex. <laughs> What's it's the difference? Like, what's your criteria between a one night stand and a relationship material? Well, if it happens for more than one night, then it's a relationship. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't go in with that plan. No, you never do. I mean, you never plan on a one night stand. I haven't had a one night stand. Well, that's not true. But I haven't, I haven't had them as fruitfully as I did when I was in my 20s. Then it was just like all bets were off. You know, anything was, it, things were coming and going. <laughs> what things are we talking about? Here? <laughs> We're talking, uh, uh, have you ever been to Amsterdam? I did. I went to Amsterdam once on my very first book tour, and I went, you know, when you go through security at the airport, they always ask you if you have any drugs on you, because obviously that, that's pretty much the main reason everyone goes to Amsterdam. <laughs> and I remember saying to the person, because we had done like a bunch of acid, and I remember saying <laughs> <laughs> to the airline person, I go, in me or on me? Yeah. <laughs> Because we were so high by the time I was like 25 years old, and we were so high on that plane ride. And I was in first, and she was in coach, and I was so high, I moved back to coach because I couldn't be alone. I was like, Ugh. 
Wait, wait, you took acid on an airplane? Before we got on the airplane. You're out of your mind. What? That is the ballsiest thing I've ever heard in my life. Well, I don't think I was planning on, on being, I think it was just still in my system and I had to get on the plane. Right. Like, I, I didn't take it for the plane. I just was like, was like I got a long plane night. ride. Oh. I'm, like, I have, <laughs> I'm like, I have all these drugs I have to get rid of. I better do no. them now. Also, I mean, I don't wish to seem disrespectful, but uh, take do. drugs to Amsterdam? I mean... To Amsterdam? Yeah, I mean... No, I was going leaving Amsterdam. Oh, you were leaving Amsterdam. Yeah, I, I thought you were taking the drugs into Amsterdam. It's like, they, they got some. Well, I, I wish you could listen a little I can better. better. Yeah, I can. <laughs> when you say that word, you pull my hair a little bit. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> What's in there? What is in your hair? <laughs> this is like... <laughs> this is like something about Mary. Yeah. That's what it is. Keeps your hair fresh and stiff. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So, so what, you like... Well, no, but now let me ask you, what's going on with your life? I know you had a baby, right? Yeah, yeah, no. Well, two years ago now, you, almost. Yeah. You still have it? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I got two of them. I got an older kid and the baby, right. and they're awesome. They're they're very very nice people. I yeah. want to meet your wife someday. Yeah, you. We you should have should. dinner like you, me, and you know, your wife. And then you can bring your boyfriend. Really, you have one? Well, maybe. <laughs> I mean, if I, I need to get were... one, I can get one. No, I, I can find you a boyfriend. If you want a boyfriend? Oh, I'll you find can? you one. Yeah, yeah. If you want one, like... I mean, he'll be small. <laughs> like how small? Tom Cruise small. Okay, so we'll skip the boyfriend, and I'll just, oh, go, to yeah. I'll well, just you go to dinner. I'll come over to your house. I'd like to go to people's homes and hang out. Okay, you can come to my house and hang out. Yeah. I'm going, I'll be away for Thanksgiving. You want to come over there? <laughs> 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 would, you, you wouldn't date a, an actor? Would you, would you date an no, actor? No, I would hope I don't ever date an actor, no. Oh, come on. Actors. No, come on. I mean, I can't be that. Take themselves. They take themselves very seriously. A little bit. It's hard to find people that have a good sense of humor. You don't mind if I touch Well, I don't mind it at all. <laughs> it's hard. I mean, those guys take themselves very seriously. They do, because they, what they work they do is very important. They... <laughs> You're right. You're absolutely right. Hey, we both better be careful because, you know, we got to invite these people on the show and listen to their crocky dinga. So, they, come on. The thing is, they seem to be fine with it, most of them, if you make fun of them and then invite them on the show. Don't you find? You don't yeah, really, yeah, yeah, yeah they seem to have a good, I mean, if they do come on your show after you've spoken about them, then they have a very good sense of humor. Do you ever, do you ever stop yourself? Do you ever think, I can't, that, not that guy? Cause I wish I could, you know, but I just figure, you know what, it's working, so I'd rather be honest than just be full of Achtung. Sorry, I don't even understand that. Uh, that's why you're not in a relationship. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, you're right. That is are you why. gonna have kids? Do you think you'll ever no, have kids? No, I hope not. Oh come on, you'd be a great mom. Why would I be a great mother? I'd be a terrible mother. No, what are you talking about? You'd be a great. You would raise comedians. <laughs> I, love I think when, you know what you're saying. I love when people say you'd be a great mother. Like you have any idea what kind of mother I would be. I wouldn't well, you don't think you have any idea what mother you what would be. What is that? Insecurity. <laughs> <laughs> is that the mug Mary McCormick got Mary you? McCormick gave yes, me this. Yeah, Mary yeah. McCormick's my dear friend. I love Mary. He chipped his tooth. That yeah, I, no, I, I did. I think it was, it was a night, it was some actor here talking about something and I had to hit him. And I he, no, it was chipped. But other than Mary gave me that, so I've got that from uh, Mary and the chair from you. I sit and I drink this and I sit in the chair and go, ah, <laughs> Chelsea and Mary love me. <laughs> you know that I'm deathly afraid of snakes. Are I you have. Really? No, I'm I had so, no idea about I'm that. I'm so scared. Oh, really? I had no idea. <laughs> Why are you afraid of snakes? <laughs> I am a therapist, you know. <laughs> I had a snake in my driveway, and it was, and my driver had to run it over because it was slithering. It was talking. It was talking to my dog. <laughs> I'm not joking. Is this, this just happened. before this or just after you come back from Amsterdam? This right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
No, this was recently. This was like a couple of months ago. And I was sitting and the dog was barking and my friend was walking up my driveway and she said, you have a rattlesnake in your driveway. And I am like, I will go into sh like, sh I like start to twitch. And I'm not scared of a lot of things. And I'm scared of snakes. And I, my driver was coming up to pick me up because I was going out and I'm a responsible driver and drinker. So I said, run over, run over that snake. That's cruel. Why? He was a rattlesnake. He was going to attack me. No, he's a rattlesnake. He's just moving from one place to the next to get on with whatever yeah, they do. from my driveway to my pool or my backyard. But he's not going like, gonna get Chelsea, gonna get Chelsea. He's just, just doing his thing. I believe he was saying, I'm gonna get Chelsea, I'm gonna get Chelsea. Might, I don't might like, have been. I don't like rattlesnake, I don't like snakes, I don't like big ones. And then they said, oh, you can get a king snake to eat the rattlesnakes in your yard. I go, I don't want any more I guess. snakes. There you go. That's the girl I know. We'll take a break. We'll be right back with Chelsea Handler. No, I've never met this woman. <laughs> Chelsea Handler, everybody. Um, yes. Are you interested in fruit? Are you frightened of fruit, or no, do you? No, bring it out. All right, what then, do you got? I got, I got some fruit. And I, uh, it's kind of my thing. I'm trying to find a new way of getting rid of guests. And uh, <laughs> you know, at the end, you know, at the end of the interview, when you're trying to figure out what, how to yeah, get it what done. Is that? That's a that's a, a kale tea. It looks a bit like, uh, what does it look I like, Jess? Uh, well, <laughs> well, why, I'm not, I have no idea. I've never seen anything quite like that before. <laughs> I don't think you're telling me the truth. <laughs> All right, look, let me draw a little face on it. Then it'll be, then it'll be no, oh, this pen doesn't work. Ay, caramba! Uh, <laughs> All right. This uh, seems like a great bit. Yeah, it's really working well. Uh, <laughs> look, non-threatening. You see? Oh, see? That already scared me. That scared you? That what if, what if I did this? What if I did this on it? No. Stop. Stop. Does I'm that really joking. freak you out? I All saw right, a sorry. picture of a no, snake. No, I, I don't want to freak you out. I saw a picture of a snake last night with my friend, and I jumped out because he said, look, look, and I went, ah! I mean, I can't handle it. I shouldn't well, right, be saying I'm it sorry. on television. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to freak you out with this thing. Hang on. I'll, I'll calm you down with a picture of Pat Sajak. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> Ah, you like Pat Sajak? Look yeah, I that. love him. Who look, doesn't love him? Yeah, look at that. Pat Sajak. That's right great. Look at that. Look at that Can girl. I have it? No, no, you can't have this. Oh. Because this studio was built for Pat Sajak. Oh, and Because he had a late night show. He did? Yeah, for about two months. And, <laughs> and th it was, this is the studio. And your studio was built for Conan. Conan, right. Yeah. Whoopsie. <laughs> this is Pat Sajak. <laughs> I thought he was on that show, uh, Wheel, Wheel of, of Destiny. Oh, yeah, Wheel of Fortune, right? Yeah. You should host a game show. You'd be really good at that. You know, that's a great idea. <laughs> I'll do it. Do you have a production company? I do, but Wheel of Fortune is filmed in this very studio at CBS, isn't not it? Not this very studio. No, not this one, but this it's in CBS. Unless right? they do it when I'm not here. <laughs> do you think they sneak Pat Sajak in? <laughs> it's like, quick, he's gone, he's gone. All right, come on, bring the wheel, get the wheel, come on. Sneak him in on a little wheelbarrow. They're like, get out, hop out. He's only, he's like a gnome. This used to be mine. This used to be mine. <laughs> you, have, you have similar haircuts if you look closely. Yours well, is part of a little oh, bit more. Oh, come on, man. Yours, a little, yours is a little bit more postmodern ironic. But his is like, well, that actually looks like a piece. <laughs> is that a wig? No, I think say Jack's sporting the real deal. He's organic. <laughs> no. You can't say anything bad about him. He'll take away your game show. He will. <laughs> Take away my studio. All right, we're out of time. Anything else we need to do? No, All nothing. Right. You want to hang out later? Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Tell the handler, everybody. Over here. Uh huh. <laughs> you see, for years I have been. Wondering and thinking, why does Weird Al Yankovic hate me? <laughs> why wouldn't Weird Al do the show? I love Weird Al. I've always been very positive about him in my tweets. 
I follow him on the Tweety machine. And I appreciate his work. He's a comedy genius. And I find, perhaps, <laughs> my messages to Mr. Yankovic, Weird Al, as I now call him, are in fact, ah. <laughs> he said, don't call me, I'll call me, ah. <laughs> We're friends now, Craig. Good friends. <laughs> Good friends who have each other's numbers. Whenever you want me in the show, call me personally. <laughs> Weird Al can't make it. I don't know what it is. He's just so busy all the time. He's always out, he's always out there somewhere, you know, touring. <laughs> you sack of stuff that I'm not gonna say in front of Weird Al's eight-year-old kid. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night.